At the precinct in Cincinnati's East End, a handful of the more than 15 million Americans who work in the restaurant industry are prepping food and hoping people will place carryout orders tonight. But the precinct's president says hope is not a sustainable business model. When you think about what we need right now, it's it's relief. It's financial relief. Brittany Ruby Miller is Jeff Ruby's daughter. She's been on her phone around the clock advocating for a $225 billion bailout for the restaurant industry from the federal government. We need that released immediately so these restaurants don't plummet. Due to the coronavirus, greater Cincinnati restaurants can only offer carry-out meals. Because of that, countless cooks, servers, dishwashers, you name it, are being laid off. You know, I'm 37 years old, so for me to say it's been the most devastating thing in my career is nothing compared to my almost 72-year-old father, who's the founder of the company, who said it's the saddest day in his career was yesterday. We laid off about 600 employees. Jeff Ruby is devastated for both his workers or his family, as he calls them, and his customers. Our restaurants in particular are, are not just a place you go to eat. You can go to your refrigerator if you just want to, if you're hungry. But people come to our restaurants to celebrate life. Ruby Miller says with help from the feds, those celebrations will continue one day at restaurants big and small. And I'm fighting on behalf of every single restaurant out there. So what we need to do right now is advocate as much as we possibly can. Now, Ruby Miller tells me restaurants nationwide generate more than $800 billion in sales a year. And with so much on the line, she wants all local eateries to support the Ohio Restaurant Association's uh, request for cash. And here in Cincinnati, she's grateful that her banking partner, for example, Fifth Third, is doing what it can to help out. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Yeah.